We call them RTs for short. They are respiratory therapists. These are the men and women who help with breathing and life support problems a patient with heart and lung difficulties may be suffering. They work at the direction of a physician who often factors in RT's judgment when determining a patient's care. And many of them are graduates of the Respiratory Care Technology Program at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. You have to be a caring person that is willing to work hard, very uh, detail-oriented. Meet Jeffrey Thompson, who directs the respiratory therapy program at Floyd Medical Center. I think that if you know you set out to do something like this, that you, you gotta put your nose to the grindstone for a while. Respiratory therapists work with patients suffering from a variety of pulmonary problems, including pneumonia, asthma, emphysema, and heart disease. Nice, slow, deep breaths. They know how to use life support monitoring equipment, as well as the latest in technology for delivering oxygen to help a patient with trouble breathing. Education is one thing, but there is nothing better than hands-on experience. Students will spend a great deal of time in a hospital following real respiratory therapists on the job. Clinicals is a big part of the respiratory program here at Georgia Northwestern. You get to experience everything. You learn it in the book, you um, come to the lab, you learn it even more, you put your hands on, and then you're out there in the clinicals within the second quarter of the program. We ask them that they'll shadow and just get to know what they're exactly getting themselves into and see if they're really wanting that, you know, high-paced, you know, environment, because um, it is very, very fast-paced. Um, we move around a lot in the hospital. We're on every code situation. We, you know, pretty much accept um, responsibilities to all patients who are um, cardiopulmonary um, and having difficulty. Xenia Bratton directs the Respiratory Care Technology Program at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. There is a growing need for respiratory therapists. As the baby boomers get older, the demand for their respiratory health care will increase. And respiratory therapists are likely to see more responsibilities in the future, including case management and disease prevention. Right now, about 80% of the jobs are in hospitals. You will likely find an RT in the respiratory care, anesthesiology, or pulmonary medicine department. The majority of the time, therapists will graduate um, and they'll work in the hospital settings. That's the majority of where your, your work is going to come as a respiratory therapist. A lot of times you can uh, work as well in home health care or you can work in rehabilitation settings or doctor's offices doing pulmonary function testing and other testing with pulmonary patients. Majority of the time we'll work in the hospitals and you can work whether in acute care settings doing therapeutic and diagnostic procedures or you can work in intensive care settings working and managing the life support machines which we also call mechanical ventilators and you can work with patients who are um, not breathing for themselves or not able to um, have their lung functions as, as appropriately as they should. So from intensive care to emergency room to, you know, acute care floor, from infants, you know, who are lungs are immature to elderly whose lungs are diseased. And we're all over spectrum, all over the hospital. Now, there's a strong future for a good paying job as a respiratory therapist. The U.S. Labor Department predicts an increase of about 21% in the demand for qualified RTs over the next few years. I believe respiratory therapists play a big part in the medical field. Everybody has to breathe and uh, nurses deal more with the medication portion of it where respiratory therapy deals with um, teaching how to breathe or how to handle um, the respiratory issues. Starting pay generally depends on the region in which you decide to work. You can expect that first paycheck in Northwest Georgia to be around $17 to $20 an hour, with those wages increasing the closer you go to Atlanta for work. If you go closer to the city of Atlanta, you may start out a little bit more per hour. You can also have um, shift differentials, which are um, any time that you'll decide to work on weekends or night shifts and other you know, alternate shifts except for day shift, you'll get actually extra money that way as well. You will find the Respiratory Care Technology Program taught at the Floyd County campus of Georgia Northwestern Technical College. It will take about two and a half years to earn an associate's degree in respiratory care technology. And then you will be eligible to sit for the state license for respiratory therapists. Every state requires respiratory therapists to hold a valid license except for Alaska and Hawaii. The attributes of a student would come when a student's very interested in a lot of, early on, very interested in math and sciences and interested in taking care of people. The respiratory care program at Georgia Northwestern Technical College is fully accredited by the Commission of Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs. 
And the college is fully accredited by the Commission on Colleges of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools to award the Associates of Applied Science degree. So, do what many students have in considering this as a career choice. Definitely look up your options, um, see what's available, sit in an orientation for it, sit in, in a class, and um, research it. And if you'll pardon the cliche, when you do become a certified respiratory therapist, you will feel a certain sense of accomplishment that will hit you like a breath of fresh air.